Both the lows and the highs are part of life, and not even famous people are exempt from that. NCIS star Dwayne Henry may be doing great now, but that wasn't always the case. The actor has openly admitted to being practically homeless before his big break. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Henry's very real pre-fame struggles, so stay tuned. First off, British actor Dwayne Henry's homelessness before NCIS. Celebrated actor Dwayne Henry made his first appearance on the fan-favorite show NCIS in 2016, playing M16 agent Clayton Reeves for a couple of episodes. His quick wit, sharp dark suits, and British accent quickly won fans' hearts, and soon Henry was a household name. What many of his fans don't know, however, is the British actor's struggle with homelessness prior to starring in the American Police Procedural series. Dwayne was down on his luck, flitting from one unstable living situation to another as he tried to navigate the rocky road of finding fame. Despite auditioning for more than a decade, the actor was constantly in and out of work. In his own words, you lose your job and you end up in different places, in the houses of friends or an old car. The actor revealed all this in an interview with CBS, saying that that's kind of been his whole career. Still, he's in a pretty good place now, starring in several films since his departure from NCIS in 2018. The 37-year-old may be best known for his role in the police procedural, but his portfolio also includes other big names like Doctor Who, Captain Marvel, the Dark Knight Rises, etc. Secondly, how the actor used his hardship to mold his character. There's no question that Dwayne did a great job playing Clayton, but what might surprise some people is how much the actor used his own experiences to mold his character. When Clayton first showed up in season 13, he was a bit unsure and didn't know what exactly was expected of him. Henry felt the exact same way and empathized with his character, using his own emotions to better bring out Clayton's feelings on the screen. As the actor himself said, I tried to use a lot of Dwayne Henry in Clayton. Just like Clayton, the actor too had once been homeless and found himself far from home with no relatives. He wanted to be accepted into the NCIS family both on and off the screen, something made possible only due to the support of his co-stars. Acknowledging their efforts, the UK native paid tribute to his fellow actors in a tweet saying that NCIS will always have an emotional attachment to him. For the rest of his life, not only due to being homeless before the show, but also due to it changing his family's life and showing him that people's dreams do come true. The actor further admitted that leaving the show was one of the toughest things he ever had to deal with, as he had to say goodbye to playing Clayton Reeves with a great cast and incredible crew. He also thanked his fans, who made him feel like their family. Next up, Dwayne's co-star Polly Perret gave him a place to stay. NCIS was Dwayne's first U.S. television gig, but his amazing co-stars made the experience an unforgettable one. One of the first to make him feel accepted was former NCIS star Pauly Perret. According to the actor, Perret found out that he was couch surfing from somewhere, and her immediate reaction was to insist she had a place for his house. At her house, Henry took her up on the offer, staying with her until he was able to get back on his own feet. While he was there, the actress consistently boosted his confidence, reminding him at every turn that he landed a role in the number one show in the world. This alone, with letting him stay, were acts of kindness he is still grateful for. The actor even shared a special bond with Parrot on screen, dying to protect Parrot's character, the goth forensic scientist Abby Sciotto, during a robbery. The scene stunned fans as Clayton's lifeless body was taken away on a gurney. The unexpected plot twist, making for a memorable exit, Abby honored Clayton's sacrifice by starting a charity he had planned for his late mother. Finally, how Dwayne stayed positive amid all his troubles. No one can deny that the NCIS actor had a hard life before finally finding fame for his work, but Dwayne never really let his situation bother him. The actor always kept his eyes on the prize, wholeheartedly believing that he could actually go to Hollywood one day. With this in mind, he always kept a smile on his face and a fire in his heart. He then came to America and was homeless until he got his big gig on NCIS. Still, he didn't let despair consume him and all his hard work finally paid off. Despite not being on the show anymore, Dwayne has made it obvious that he is forever grateful for the opportunity NCIS gave him. The actor still grasps life and acting roles with both hands and told Parade that he's just excited for whatever comes his way in terms of work no matter what it is, where it is, or how it is. He went on to say that the beauty of being an actor was that he had a license to do what he wanted to for many, many years. There 
They're not in a boy band, they're not dancers, and their life and career won't stop around their 30s like a footballer. He's in this, and will probably quit when he's late into his 80s. Life in acting is a marathon, and the actor is in no rush, so he's not speeding anything. He's in a great place and just wants to grow and enjoy his time on Earth at his discretion, with no compromise. He'll sacrifice whatever, but he's not compromising with anything. Now, in other news. First off, Dwayne Henry's favorite NCIS episode might be surprising. Naval Criminal Investigative Service agents from multiple backgrounds and disciplines are included in the cast of characters on the television series NCIS. One such character is Clayton Reeves, and although many of his colleagues are Americans, he himself comes from the British Intelligence Agency, MI6. Reeves has experience as an intelligence officer for a foreign power. His skills reflect the diverse skill set needed to work in the same agency as the internationally globally famous character of James Bond. That means he's skilled in handling firearms, computers, piloting, and all sorts of other impressive skills needed to become an undercover agent. The character has appeared in 46 NCIS episodes according to IMDb. Dwayne Henry said that his favorite episode from the show is the third episode of season 15 called Fake It Till You Make It. This episode consists of two plots. One involves the kidnapping of one of Reeves' friends from Alcoholics Anonymous and an embarrassing picture of McGee becoming a meme. Henry said that it was his favorite because Reeves is seen as his most vulnerable here, and it shows how addiction can affect those around us. Next up, Sean Murray's daughter appears in NCIS. Sean Murray is generally reserved about his private life. He rarely shares photos of his family or anything personal. Instead, his social media shows glimpses of his work and is full of snippets and sneak peeks peaks from the NCIS. But now we know a bit more about his family. His 15-year-old daughter, Caitlin Murray, made a cameo in two May episodes as a part of a group of teenagers that were being investigated for consecutive break-ins. The two actually get closer on the show, too, with Sean's character, Timothy McGee, getting quite close to Tegan, the teenage girl Kay portrayed. This allowed them to show their bond on screen, and it seemed really natural as, despite there not being any pictures of them online, it's a well known fact that Sean Murray and his daughter are very close. In the picture that's taken in the elevator, Sean is looking at his daughter proudly, and the caption talks about how she's following in her father's footsteps. And follow she did. Her acting was incredible, and NCIS fans were sure to tell that to the father-daughter duo. They praised her acting and mentioned how much she looked like her father. Finally, CBS's first three-way crossover deadline confirmed. When there are multiple shows taking place in the same cinematic universe, there is nothing that excites fans more than a crossover. The more episodes and the more shows, the better. So nobody's surprised that NCIS fans have been going crazy for a crossover for some time now, and the products have finally decided to deliver. The CBS network shared the news using Instagram on Monday, stating how fans were asking for a three-way NCIS crossover and that they got them covered. And they followed through. In January 2023, fans will get a full experience of the NCIS, the NCIS Los Angeles and the NCIS Hawaii working together. The case will involve a trained and mysterious hitman on the loose. The three teams will have to work together and, if they're not careful, some of them might find themselves in the crosshairs. Fans are too obviously excited about the crossover. It's exactly what they've been asking for for a long time, especially after the latest crossover between NCIS and NCIS Hawaii, which led the NCIS team to the island hot on the tail of a suspect. Well, that's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Dwayne Henry's real-life struggles with homelessness? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.